Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a frequency specific compressor in Reaper. This could also be called a frequency dependent compressor. It's basically the same thing. What we're basically creating here is a compressor that just works on specific frequencies. It could be low end, mids, highs, whatever you want. So if you're dealing with a bass that is too much low end, but just on certain notes, where they're popping out, you can compress just the low end. Or in vocals, if the top end is popping out with a lot of S sounds, you can also control that with a frequency specific compressor. And with the advanced routing in Reaper, this is very easy to create. So let me show you how to do that. So the track in front of me here, which is a bass synth, let's hear it. And as you can tell, it has a lot of low end that changes based on each note that's played. You can control that with EQ, but it's even more powerful to compress just the low end. So let's go to our effects, go to all plugins, and let's type in splitter. And we have three choices, three band, four band, and five band. We really only need two band, but let's choose the three band. Now the way this works is it divides the signal into three pieces with two crossover points. So the low end is 20 hertz to 200 hertz. The mids are 200 hertz to 2000 hertz or two kilohertz. And the highs are two kilohertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz. But we can change the crossover points. Now if we play it right now, we're only gonna hear the low end. Because if we check the plug and pin connector, we'll see input one and two is going out just for the low end, one and two. We need to set up separate outputs for the mids and the highs. And we could do that by adding channels. Let's add two more sets of stereo channels. And now we have low end, mids, and highs. But we're still not going to hear it through our speakers because the mids are going out three and four and the highs are going out five and six. So we need to mix them back together into output one and two, where our speakers are plugged into. So we need to add a mixer at the end. Type in mixer. And right here we can choose eight stereo tracks into one stereo output. So if we check the pins on this plugin, we can see that all the inputs, one through six, are going back out one and two. So now we should hear it all. In fact, we don't need seven and eight or the rest. So here's the lows alone. Here's the mids. And here's the highs. So let's choose the frequency we want to work on. So we'll turn on just the lows, go back to our splitter, and adjust the crossover point for the lows to the mids. And with this low on the frequencies, it's kind of hard to grab. It jumps around a lot. So if you hold down control on the PC or command on the Mac, you could fine tune the movement. So let's start about 150 and let's hear it. That feels good about there, about 100. So now we can compress just that frequency. Let's add a compressor. And what the great thing about Reaper is you could use any compressor you want. So I'm gonna use the built-in one that comes with Reaper because I know you have it. Right here, Recomp. And it actually works really well for this technique. But you have to put it in between our splitter and the mixer. And we have to adjust the pins to just control the low end. We don't need these pins right here. That's for a side chain. And make sure the input is one and two and the output is one and two. So that's just the low end. And we could check that by turning off the low end and bringing up the mids and highs. So now if we adjust the compressor, we shouldn't hear any change. 
That's because it's only working on the low end. So then we can bring up the low end. Let's turn off the mids and the highs so we can adjust the compressor. That feels tighter. Now let's blend back in our mids and the highs. Notice we still have low end, but it's more controlled. Before, the low end jumps out on certain notes. After, it's a lot more contained. You can still adjust the levels against each other for more low end or less. Let's try the same thing on a vocal. Here's a vocal track that is too much high end as far as the S's. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship caught in a storm. So to control those S's, we could add a frequency specific compressor to just control the top end. So let's do that same thing. Go to our effects, add a splitter, choose a three band, to add a mixer. We don't need these channels here. Let's add more channels to this plugin right here, three and four, five and six. And now we should hear all the channels coming through the mixer. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild. Now we can add a compressor in between the two. Right here, put it in between both of them. Now we'll go to the pins on the compressor, turn off the aux, and switch this from the low end to the high end, which is five and six. So again, we can check this by turning off the high end, make sure the compressor isn't working. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse. We don't hear it. It's just on the high end. So let's bring this back up. Let's first adjust our crossover. In fact, let's float all these plugins by double clicking them so we can see them all at the same time. Here's a splitter, here's a compressor just for the top end, and here's the mixer at the end. Let's adjust the crossover point for the mids to the highs. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship caught in a storm, surrounded by love but still alone. That's a good frequency to focus on the S sounds. Now we can compress them right here. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship caught in a storm, surrounded by love but still alone, I'm the earth, I'm the sun. Now we can blend them back in with our mixer, the mids and the lows. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship caught in a storm. Notice the S sounds are more controlled, but we're not compressing the full frequency. We're only compressing the top end. Let's hear it before. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild. Those S sounds are jumping out at us. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship. That's a lot more controlled. And again, we can blend the top end with the mids and lows right from our mixer. Now you're probably thinking, this is a lot of work to go through each time you want to do this. 
but we only have to set this up once. We could save it as an effects chain to be recalled at any point. Let me show you. Just go down over here, right click, go to effects chains, and save all effects as a chain. Then we could name this selected frequency compressor. This is for the high end, and save it. Then at any time we want to use this, let's delete all this. We could right click right here, go to effects chain, and go down here to selected frequency compressor high end. And it brings it all back in with our splitter, our compressor just for the top end, and the mixer. So we're good to go quite quickly. So we only have to set this up once. So that's pretty much it. That's creating a frequency specific compressor in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!